I grew up in a house where um, I had two really solid parents, but we weren't really involved in church. We would go every once in a while to church. And so it's like they wanted me to know about God and, and have some sort of foundation, but my parents weren't walking with the Lord at that time. And so I kind of got it, but I really didn't. I left home at 18, went off to college, and just kind of got absorbed by um, the world because there are so many opportunities for me to move in all these different directions. And uh, it, it wasn't until I was a NFL veteran and I was in my, I think, seventh or eighth season that, uh, that um, some circumstances led me to a place where I just got on my knees and accepted Christ. From a functional standpoint, my life looked great on the outside in that I had football, I had fame, uh, I had money, and all of the things that worldly people desire, but really it wasn't bringing me joy and peace inside. And so I could be happy in moments, but when something tough would, would happen, I would be filled with a lot of anxiety and just worry. We go into the 2010 season and the Steelers decide to release me at the beginning of the year. So it was tough because not only is this place, the Pittsburgh Steelers, where I've spent the last two and a half years, won a Super Bowl, become entrenched in the line, not only have they let me go, but unexpectedly, and now I'm going, well, what does this mean for my career? And, and not only that, what does this mean for my daughter? So at that point in, in time, my daughter's mother and I, uh, we were still living together. We had moved in to raise our daughter and and trying to do what we could to come together. But ultimately that wasn't going to be um, in God's will moving forward. So God brought me to this place where I had to fall to my knees. He brought me to the end of myself where I knew that the Lord was calling me. I knew it in my heart and I met with a pastor friend of mine. I just sat down with him and I said, look, I've been doing this life on my own. I can't do it anymore. And uh, we talked for a long time and we prayed, I accepted Christ. And from there I went on a journey of just really immersing myself in the word and finding out who God was. And the more, the more apparent it became to me that I had come into a relationship with a living God, it really overwhelmed me. And knowing that he was there, um, that he loved me, that I was loved, I was accepted, and how much grace he had for me because you, you are doing things your own way and you look back and think about how deeply rooted your sin was and then knowing how much grace that God has and how much he loves me is really overwhelming.